So today is a special video for Jay. He challenged me to make this very cool optical illusion wire gadget. So I'm going to make one today with 18 gauge stainless steel wire. You'll need two pieces that are about 20 inches long. Size isn't super important. If you're cutting the steel wire, use memory wire cutters or heavy duty cutters. You do not want to damage your cutters. And I'm going to wind the wire around a pen. Just straighten out the wire a little bit. We're going to start on one side and we're going to go one direction. So we're going to hold this in place. Uh, you can leave a little extra on the end and we're just going to wind it. Try to stay somewhat consistent with the distance of your uh, wires, but it's not super important. You can adjust it after. Move your hand along as you need to. And we're just going to keep going until we've used all the wire. You can push it down as you go. Just keep going. They're on a slight angle to the right. And we're just gonna go all the way to the end. And don't worry if it's hard to bend that end in. You want it to be curved, so just take your cutters and just cut it like that. And you can do the same on the other side. So just cut it there. So there we've got one coil. And now we're going to take the other wire. And you'll see this one we wound over the pen. So for this one, we want to do it the opposite way. So we're just going to hold that in place. And instead of going over, we're going kind of under and over the opposite way. We'll just wind it. Same manner, but the opposite sort of direction. So we're just going to take this and just work our way down. You can remove it and then just make sure you bent, you cut it just in the in the curve there and this side too you can just cut the extra so we now have two coils that are sort of wound in opposite directions and at this point you can kind of adjust them so they're even ish you can pull these apart a little bit more so they're not so tightly together just pull them apart we want these to be crisscross, so just a few inches from the end. We're going to take this one and go underneath. And this one has to be over. And then under. And then over. And under. And we're just going to wind them together around there. So as you can see, these ends are not soldered together. They're loose ends and it looks like you can pull them apart, but no matter how much you pull, just gently pulling on either side, it looks like they're unwinding. The total length of the wire is always staying the same and these wires will never come apart. So thanks so much, Jay, for sending me this awesome idea. I had a blast making it. Thank you, Jay, for your amazing longtime support of my channel and being one of the very first members of the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And we'll see you the next time. Bye!